Hi, this is Joyce Brandon, and today I'm going to show you how I transfer images from my sketchbook onto canvas in preparation for creating a portrait. Here I have a completed drawing, and I'm going to need to transfer it onto a canvas. So my first step is to take some tracing paper. Now you can find tracing paper in the school and art supply section of just about any big box store, office supply store, and also you can find it at your local art supply store or online. Next, I'm going to take my pencil, I'm going to trace around the outside outline of my subject, then I'm also going to trace around any highlights on the sketch, any big light places, and also any deep shadows. That's going to give you a nice basic outline to work with. You do not have to go into a great deal of detail. So now I'm going to set aside my original sketch, and I have here a canvas. This is an 8 by 10 pre-primed stretched canvas. You can see it's on the stretcher bars in the back and it is all ready to go. I take my tracing and I'm going to lay it onto my canvas and try to find a nice centered balanced position for the portrait. I don't want any lines to be too close to the edges because I do not want to worry that my client might choose a frame that would cover portions of the subject. So, the first method that I use to transfer sketches is called graphite transfer paper. Now, this is a very thin sheet of paper. It's like tissue paper. And on one side, you have a shiny surface that's composed of a layer of graphite. That is the layer that you want pressed against your canvas. So you would slide that, slide that under your tracing. You should tape it down to make sure things don't move around. I'm just uh, not doing that because of time constraints. So you want it taped down, keep it from scooting around, and you're going to gently but firmly trace over the main lines of your sketch that you want to have transferred. Okay. When you remove that, you're going to be able to see some lines that I've sketched on here already, but um, that gives you an idea. They're not very dark. They're not going to show through your paint. It's a nice way to transfer it onto your canvas. Now, if you do not have graphite trans transfer paper, there are a couple of other easy do-it-yourself methods. First, you're going to want to have a surface that you don't care if it gets dirty with graphite. Now, you're going to take your original tracing here. This is the side you drew on, and you're going to flip it over to the back side. And then you're going to go over every line that you drew with a nice soft leaded pencil, preferably. That's going to give you some nice thick layer of graphite that can transfer easily onto your canvas. Um, I like to use, this is a 6B the lead is, or the graphite is really, really soft. So it's going to give you a nice layer to transfer. All right. So you set aside your surface there. You return to your canvas. You tape it back down. And once again, you're going to go over the lines with your pencil. Again, pressing firmly, but not putting too much pressure onto the canvas. So as you can see here, it's transferred a few lines on there. Now, the third option is to take a chalk pastel. Now, you'll want to use a light color because dark colors are going to make it difficult for you to see your original lines. Once again, you're going to be using a surface you don't care if it gets dirty. You're going to be going over the back of your sketch with that chalk pastel and you would go over the whole thing, blow away the, blow away the excess dust. And then once again, tape it with the original tracing side up. The side that you've scribbled on is going to be at the back and you can see that I can still easily see all my original lines. Then you take a pencil and you go over the lines of your sketch 
and it's going to transfer lines of that chalk pastel onto your canvas. It works really well. You can see there are some little fine lines from the tracing there. Now, I do want to mention that if you use a chalk pastel, you need to be aware that you're going to want to have minimal touching of your canvas with your hands um, as you're working on the actual painting because these lines can rub off. If you're working with graphite from a pencil or from the graphite transfer paper, you're probably not going to have a problem with that. So those are three easy methods for transferring your images onto a canvas. One other thing I want to bring up is, I showed you before, this is a stretched canvas. So we have wood stretcher bars that the canvas is stapled to and the center is unsupported. When you're transferring your sketch onto the front side of this canvas, if you press too hard, you're going to risk denting the canvas and that can be difficult and sometimes impossible to repair. So if you're worried about too, putting too much pressure on there, go to your bookshelf, pick out a book that fits relatively nicely in there, then turn your canvas over, supported by that book in the center, and you can go from there, transferring your image without worrying about putting too much pressure on the stretched canvas, but also not worrying that you're going to be pushing too lightly and not getting a good image. So I hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to talk to you again.